Yo. Relax. Sit down for a minute. Allow yourself to just chill. Sometimes you feel like you don't deserve it. But let's take it now. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Sit comfortably. Start to let these little energy pockets you hold in your body release. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Find alignment first. You know this is important. You know that your alignment is top priority for everything becoming easier. Everything is easier when you feel good. Bring awareness to your body. Still breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Pay attention to your lowest chakra, your root chakra. It's around your pelvis. Right at the bottom of your torso, your genitals, that whole area that means safety, means life, it's red, it's earth, it's basic, it's necessary. You build everything from here and move up. Now pay attention to your sacral chakra, a little bit higher near your navel. This is creativity, sexuality expression. This is very important to allow. Breathe into it. Breathe out. Raise your focus to your solar plex chakra at your solar plex. This is yellow. This is intellect, willpower, self-awareness. Allow your identity to come from here. Allow yourself to design your life through the intuitive choices made through here. Breathe into it. Breathe out. Let your awareness raise up to your heart chakra. Overflowing with love heart chakra. Breathe into it. Breathe out. This is the most innate chakra. We are love. We are existing as love. When you tap into this, you tap into infinite abundance. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now let your focus raise to your throat chakra. This is your communication tool. It's blue. You allow who and what you are to be heard by the world through this energy center. Allow yourself to give it awareness and fine tune how you want to present yourself, what you want to say. Is everything you're saying connecting with who and what you really are? Allow awareness to be here for a moment. Breathe in, breathe out. Now raise your awareness up inside of your skull right to the center in your pineal gland, your third eye. This is a very important chakra for envisioning, for seeing not just what you observe the world around you, but from seeing within your infinite power of imagination. This creates all the peripherals in our life. This manifests everything that we walk into. Breathe in. Breathe out. As we bring awareness to these chakras, you'll notice that they all start to 
move softly, more centered, and vacillate as though by giving them attention, you've allowed them to release what was not needed and come more into center, into alignment, moving towards your greatest self. Allow your awareness to raise above your head to the crown chakra, your higher being belt guidance tool that you use for all of your esoteric interactions. Your crown chakra is the cherry on the cake of your Merkaba as a human, as an operating being on this earth. Breathe in, breathe out. Blessings come through here. Allow your threshold and your crown chakra to open. Receive infinite guidance. Receive the wellness. Receive the willingness. Receive the vision. Know who you are and what you are. You are a spirit here having a human experience and you're so lucky. Every moment you get to enjoy this skin suit. Embrace your sensations and operate from a place of love. Bless you. Namaste. Breathe in. Breathe out. Subscribe to Discipline Stoners for more. This has been Eleven. Love you. Discipline stoners. What's your discipline? You a stoner? That's cool. So are we. I'm high a lot. It's weird to finally say that with pride. I'm high a lot. Being high has helped me with my anxiety. It's helped my social skills. Well, it's helped me feel okay about my shitty social skills. <laughs> it doesn't make my social skills better, but it sure does make sitting in that awkward moment in a social interaction a lot more bearable. You know, that moment where no one in the group has anything left to say, and you desperately want to yell at all of them to just say something? Being high makes that hilarious and not torture. Living from Anger Town. This plant just helped me chill out. Found focus. Found confidence. All of a sudden, I was productive. Less protective. More progressive. Yeah, we talk about stuff like I'm a next sommelier. But this is about a medicine, baby. We wish everyone a mindful life. It's been a helpful tool for us. Whatever the route to peace, it's each individual's journey. And the more we communicate, maybe we can all help each other out. Love and light. Welcome to Discipline Stoners Podcast with your host, Eleven. And my name is Winnie. And we are the gateway drug to mindfulness. And that's Ralph.